Now, Thanksgiving is almost here, and this morning we are showing you how to make your turkey look good enough to eat. Our Fox Carolina's Christy Wayne is showing us the proper way to carve it up. We're going from carving our jack-o'-lanterns to carving turkeys. I'm here with Chef Ronnie from Table 301, and he's going to show us the perfect way to do that because I think people probably overthink it just a little bit. Yes, yes. So show us the right way to do it. Okay, Don't want to we'll take chunks it. out of it. So No, no, <laughs> we'll, we'll show you the kind of the chef way of doing it. So, okay, so we're starting with our nice, uh, well-rested bird. So that's one thing. When you, you're not going to just pull your turkey out of the oven and start carving it. Right? Okay. Let it sit for a good 20 minutes, enjoy an extra glass of wine or whatever you're having and just relax and let that bird um, kind of rest once it's done. But this one's well rested and uh, ready to go. And this is what I like to do. Okay. So I will start by taking off my leg and thigh. Okay. And then if you want, you can, you know, separate these. In fact, we can separate this. Um, and then you can either, um, and there's just a little spot you got to find right there and your, your knife will get right to it. So you've got your leg, okay, and then thigh. Well, the thigh is kind of big, so probably you're going to want to cut that up. And then also you can take the wing off. So you sort of have to carve into there just a little bit. And there you go. And then there's the wing. You could cut it in half if you want, but I think it's going to look great uh, kind of right up in there. Okay. And then we'll put the other wing right over there with this one. And now we have sort of this nice backdrop where we can start to lay in all the breast. Okay, now the breast or the prize meat really. Right down the middle. Okay. With your knife, right? And then there's some bone right there. So you're gonna go on either side of it. And then you're gonna start coming down and across. And you'll feel where the bone is, but you can do a lot of this with your hands. Just sort of reach in and pull it. All right, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Because when I'm cleaning up later, I'm going to want to separate the bones and stuff from the rest. Because when it comes to making um, leftovers and stuff, I might like to cook that and make some, you know, stock and whatnot. Right. So we can make soup and things. So leftovers for me is one of the most fun things about uh, Thanksgiving dinner. I like the turkey sandwiches. Turkey sandwiches. So that's why you've got to be really good at the slicing. So you can just slice like this. Looks pretty good. Right. And then what, what I like to do is I just take the whole thing and I just put it right in there. Beautiful. And just fan it there a little bit. And then we just do the same thing with the other side. <laughs> well, we want to say thank you so much for showing us how to carve a turkey, giving us some tips to make sure that turkey is perfect for all of our guests. My pleasure. And as always, all this information is up for you on our website, foxcarolina.com. Reporting, Christy Waite, Fox Carolina News.